Well, hi everyone, and uh, welcome to the podcast. Uh, this is actually the first time that I'm doing a podcast with a uh, video on. Um, I'm just uh, in San Diego right now, um, and I'm enjoying the amazing weather here. Uh, I have a really cool show uh, happening tonight at uh, Soda Bar in San Diego, and uh, I'm really pumped because it's going to be a sold-out show. Um, so I guess today my podcast entry is that you need to start listening to your body. Um, I feel like it's so important these days. Like. And um, I'm mostly talking about personal experience. Like, a few uh, years ago, uh, something happened to my body, and somehow I just cannot handle caffeine. I cannot handle doing, uh, you know what. And I just had to listen to my body and realize that I have to make some changes. Um, and... So I haven't drank coffee in a few years now. And yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely been hard uh, waking up at times because, you know, I love my uh, morning cup of coffee, but I was getting so many bad panic attacks that they felt, they felt debilitating. I just couldn't, like, I was, like, shaking. I was feeling so awful. And I felt like, uh, you know, I need to make a change. Same thing with, uh, same thing with eating candy. You know, I'm, I'm a really big sucker for like eating candy and stuff. And, and I love it, but at the same time, it gives me a, a shit ton of anxiety. And because of that, I just decided to limit the amount of candy I eat to the point where I feel like a lot of times, I feel like it's not worth it anymore. So I've just been cutting the, the candy part, which I'm really sad about, but I, I know that like, it just makes my day go a lot better. And uh, yeah, like I, I don't drink any coffee or anything. Uh, now I'm on the road. So yeah, I have to, uh, you know, order Uber Eats uh, a lot. Um, sometimes I make decent choices for what I order. Sometimes I don't. I mean, you know, yesterday I, uh, I ordered some pasta, got some uh, ziti. It was really, really good. Um, I'm, I'm just a big pasta person, but I also acknowledge that, you know, I should probably lose like, uh, 25 pounds. I mean, I don't know if it's like, I don't know if you can notice, but, um, I mean, find uh, guy shirts these days. So they're pretty good at, at hiding uh, belly fat. <laughs> but um, yeah, like I, I've just been thinking. You know, I, I need to maybe start getting serious about losing the weight a little bit and, and feeling better. And playing these shows, getting you know on stage for an hour and a half, you know, dancing around. And, uh, <laughs> you know, singing and all that stuff, it just, it takes a lot of my energy and it's good because for me, it feels like a workout and I feel like it feels like that for the crowd as well. So it's like, it's like I'm killing two birds with one stone where I'm like, okay, I'm going to get that, that workout. I'm going to give a good performance. And at the same time, I know that I will most likely lose weight um, while doing all that stuff. And yeah, I, I, I've been, I've been giving a lot of energy and it just feels like a workout and I can already tell, like, there's definitely, um, I've definitely seen an improvement. Um, I mean, outside of that, I try to do just like some small, some small things here and there. Like I, I will do a small workout. Even if it's for one minute, even if I do push-ups or something, then I, I, I tend to just do it. And then I'm like, okay, well, at least I worked out today. At least I did something. But I just try to do it like every single day because I find as soon as you start skipping one day, 
it's just it just gets so hard and i find it you know it, it consistency is key you know with anything it's the same thing with music every time i make music it's um you know i try to do it every day because as soon as i start skipping then i'm not there anymore you know same thing with the vocal warm-ups i've been doing vocal warm-ups every day because i know if i'm performing stuff um it takes a lot on my on my voice and you know those are muscles that they need to be to be uh optimal they need to feel relaxed and also i want to give a really good performance i want to be at the top shape and yeah sure you know I'm on tour you never know i could get sick and stuff um and i've performed shows sick unfortunately it's just the nature of the game but if i can stay as healthy as possible i can uh give the best uh chance at a good show and not strain my voice keep my keep my singing voice for as long as possible so yeah so i just try to uh listen to my body you know i i feel like it's uh it's super important in this day and age to uh just listen to your body and you know if 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 something's happening with your body you really have to to reevaluate and be like okay well i'm feeling a certain way what could i do to like change that like for example i'm on i'm on tour right now and i haven't drank a whole lot you know i uh yeah, sure, I, I've had a, a beer, maybe after the show. But in terms of drinking, I haven't drank a whole lot of alcohol in general. I, I just feel like it just just makes me sleepy. It makes my voice uh, more strained. And uh, I've just been drinking a lot of water. You know, it, it, it really helps my uh, my body. And yeah, I'm just just been trying to listen to my body to not overeat to take as much rest time as possible so sometimes you know I'm, I'm going on a plane and then um you know i i'm getting an early flight and so and my shows sometimes they end late so sometimes they end at like two in the morning then i have a, a plane at like uh, 10 a.m so yeah, I'm going to get like five, six hours of sleep. So usually what I do is I show up to the hotel and I try to nap. Like that's, that's a very important thing. And, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like, I feel like sleep is never uh, overrated. I feel like sleep is so essential. And as soon as you start like losing a bit of sleep, I find you start losing your mind and, um, yeah, I, I, I just try to get as much sleep as possible to, you know, warm up my voice, to eat as good as I can because, you know, I can't, I, I can't cook here. I mean, it's not like I cook at home anyways. It's most of my wife that cooks, thank God. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and uh, trying to work out. And I find, you know, it's it's... It's, it's a compounding effect. Once you start doing that every single day, then you start getting, you start seeing some results. Um, but you really have to do it every single day. And you really have to, you know, not be impulsive. Um, like, you know, I, it, I get it. There's a lot of really good food out there. And I, I'm, I'm a foodie. I, I want to try everything. I want to eat everything. I love mac and cheese, you know. I love my burger. I love my pizza. And I'm just, I just try to limit the amount that I put in my body. And um, yeah, and, and I feel like, I feel like I have more energy because of that. Because I'm, because I'm, I'm eating a little bit better. Because I'm drinking some water. Because I'm trying to get as much sleep as possible and uh, it just it just adds up over time like i started doing vocal warm-ups and now it's been a month and a half that i've been doing this every single day and 
now I'm doing all my shows and I'm just like nailing everything. I'm hitting every note. I'm not feeling like I'm straining myself. And it's just cause I've, I've just, you know, warmed up my vocal my vocals all these for for uh, all these days and it just it just made my vocals stronger and it just made it more um i don't know what the word more, more accurate i guess so and yeah and i still i still need to lose weight i still need to eat better i still need to do better workouts but at least I'm starting somewhere. I think the that's the most important to at least get started and, and get going, you know, and and not expect immediate results. You have to get going and over time it just compounds and then you'll immediately feel better. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye everyone.